Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, girls and boys, boys and girls, welcome back to our channel, Inspirational Minutes with David. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and let you know our channel is back on. Hit the like and share, share the news, share the news, share the news, share the news. We got a big election coming up next week. Gonna put the big eye on it. We're gonna put the big eye on it. The big eye on it. Or should I say the scope? Get a little bit comfortable, man. Let's, let's get this thing started. You know, today, our bill today is properly titled. It's properly titled, I am. I am. Oh, cows, by the way. I am with the sh S hits today. Yeah, let me dig into your brain a little bit more. A little bit more. Dig into your brain. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. I don't even have a drink today. Cause what I'm talking about today, I need you to hear it. I need you to hear it. I need you to hear me loud and clear. Loud and clear. You see, yeah, another week. Another week. We'll know. We will know. What's going on? But I'm with the S hits today. Let the book shine. Let the book shine. The audacity of woke a memoir of a man who's been mentally asleep. He's fully awake now. He's fully awake now. So hit the subscribe button. Get my light right. Hit the bell notifications. Let you know we're back home. Let's go. Let's talk. I'm with the S hits today. You see, you came into the earth plane. You came into this earth plane with what's known as seven veils of illusion. There's seven veils of illusion. Ill. I L L. Illusion. Ill. Illusion. Now, these are energetic blockages over the third eye, which root you into this human experience. And as you progress spiritually, as you evolve spiritually, more of them are removed. The more you remove, the more of the etheric realm you are able to see. The final one is removed when you transition from the material plane back into the spiritual plane. And that comes upon the physical death. It is only when you return until you return to your pure energetic state that you are able to perceive things as they really are. I'm with the S hits today. Yeah, I'm with it today. Don't you have a drink? I need a drink, but I don't have a drink. Let's go. Quantum physics has told us for a couple of decades, physical matter doesn't actually exist. Now, you know, I've been talking about the matrix a few times. Wow, probably like four or five times. Let's continue. You can call it a matrix. It's all a product of consciousness. Sort of like a, a, a dream. It's, it's sort of like a, a dream projected onto the screen of your mind. Product of consciousness. Now, in string theory... It points that all the physical, air quotes by the way, all the physical matter we see is composed of, composed of molecules, abundant item, atoms, A-T-O-M-S. In the beginning, it was atoms, atom. And the atoms are from different elements. And the elements contain a certain number of protons, neutrons, in electrons, carbon 12, the very makeup of man, six protons, six neutrons, six uh, electrons, six, 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 the original, and electrons. Okay, we said that. Now, those sub, sub uh, atomic particles consist of quarks, and what I mean by that, Q U A R K S, and those quarks are conjugation, is a, is a conjugation of a one-dimensional vibrating of strings, 
of pure ordal energy, of prime ordal, ordal energy. The frequency of those vibrations determine what the particle appears to be. Now, sort of like when you when you when you have a guitar, how you pluck one string, right? One string of the guitar, depending on the vibration of the string, we can hear the chord of A or F or C, etc. etc. Depending on the vibrational frequency or wave function of the string, we perceive different particles. Depending on the vibrational frequency of the particles, we get different elements, and so on, and so on, and so forth, until we get to our apparent reality. What did Einstein say? It's just all just E equal MC squared, or energy equals mass times the speed of light squared, and which is the world famous equation of Einstein. You see? Mass. Mass is just energy. And it's a lot of it. Energy equals consciousness according to certain philosophies. It's our mind that creates a usable interface based on those wave functions. Our minds create the difference by discriminating between different frequencies. The same as our phones. You, uh, Our phones, they create a, like a, a usable interface, right? Like our iPhones, a usable, a usable interface for us to view, but we don't see the underlying reality. We don't see the voltage being toggled, the the, the current, the resistors, the the uh, diodes, and the coding, the binary, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, the binary coding and all of the other coders that go with it, and the binary elements of what makes you see what you see on your phones. We just see the icons, you know. We see the icons, the same as when we look around, we only see, we only see the icons. We don't see the molecules, the atoms, the sub, the subatomatic particles. We just see the interface, not the truth. Our entire sense of just analyzing, analyzing wave functions of electromagnetic radiation that's all around us. Protons from, from light enter our eyes. Let, let, okay, let, let, let's talk about that. We see about light transmission. Light enters the pupil, and when it enters the pupil, it goes to the optic nerve, we transmit that to the brain. So, pro, fro, uh, protons or protons from light enter our eyes, and it touch the retina. But really, in actuality, it's the proton wave function that interact with the wave function of the cones and rise in our eyes, and signals are produced from those interactions. I'm in the eye field. I know a little bit. Same with sound. The waves touch our ear, and the hairs turn into signal objects, touch the skin. But in actuality, you're only feeling the electromagnetic repulsion of the electron fields like two negative sides of a magnet trying to communicate. Trying to communicate or touch each other. You don't touch, but the wave functions interact. And those interactions, a usable signal is produced. Now taste, <laughs> let's talk about taste. <laughs> taste is just analyze the specific wave function interactions of different molecules, which are just complex wave functions of different uh, elemental atom combinations. And we discriminate certain wave functions that fit parameters as salty or sweet. And the exact same with smell. It just analyzes complex wave functions. A combined structure of these wave functions where they're filtered and analyzed creates our apparent universe. And that, that is what our brain does. That's what our brain does. It just filters all the signals down to a usable interface that makes sense to its user. You tracking? You with me now? Are you with me now? Now, you know I'm with the S-Hits today. 
So if I talk too fast, rewind the video, listen to it again. Okay? I'm with the S hits today. Time is running out. It's time to wake up. Okay? It's time they had the audacity to be awakened and aware. Now, the same, let's continue. Because I go off on the tantrum on that. The same production crew, production crew, to create dreams is, is used to create the waking reality. There's no difference in the dream state and the waking state for both are created by consciousness. It's just in the dream state, we are more aware of the screen in which the movie is played upon. And in the waking state, we think the movie is real as real life. But, but, but it's just a simulation inside your mind. It's just a stimulation, a simulation inside who mind? Your mind. Inside your mind. It's actually impossible. Impossible. Impossible to even see anything outside of your mind. That's the whole basis of your senses. It's taking signals from the outside and interpreting them inside your mind. It's all just consciousness. It's just consciousness. A divine play in consciousness. You are the consciousness itself. You are the consciousness itself. Not the body that your consciousness reveals. Thus, you can experience all. Oh, consciousness is omnipresent. It's everywhere. No matter where you look, it is consciousness that reveals that to you, even in dreams. You can look behind your eyes or in deep space. It is consciousness. It is consciousness that reveals that, reveals that space to you. Consciousness is omnipotent. From the smallest unit of measurement, the smaller infinitesimal unit of measurement of energy to the biggest supernova of big bangs, it is consciousness that reveals that power and shows it. It is consciousness that reveals all the energy of the uni one verse for you to visually See, it is consciousness that is omniscient, omnificent. No matter what you know or can ever learn, you can only, only learn it through consciousness. Anything that can be discovered or learned in existence can only be known through what we've been talking about, because you know I'm with the S-Hits today. It's through consciousness. You see, the most high is existence itself. Where consciousness or the Holy Spirit arises out of. Through the Holy Spirit of consciousness, we all became sons and daughters of the most high. The Father experienced this life through the lens of our apparent soul. I'm with the shits today. You don't hear me, but I hear me. I'm with it today. Let's break it down in some of the holy books. Huh. You did? John 1, 1 through 3. In the beginning was the Word, the thought. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. God, all things were made through him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Colossians 1, 16 through 17. For by him, all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. 
and he is before all things, and in, and in him all things hold together. Acts, Acts 17, 24 through 28. The God who made the world and every and error thing in it gives it all mankind life and breath and every and error thing. I had to add error in the Bible and X. There's a lot of errors in the every things. There's a lot of error in the things of this world. And he made from one man every nation of mankind. For in him we live and move and have our being. Psalms 139, 7 through 10. Where shall I go from your spirit? Question mark. Or where shall I flee from your presence? Question mark. If I ascend to the heaven, guess what? You are there. If I make my bed sure, guess what? You are there too. Acts 17, 28. For him, for in him, we live and move and have our being. Proverbs 20, 27. The spirit of man is the lamp of the Lord searching all the inward parts. Let's go to the Quran, the Umar al Katab. Surah al Al Fal. Surah al Al Fal. Surah 8, Ayah 17. From the Quran. And you killed, and, and you did not kill them. But it was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who killed them. And you threw not, oh, Muhammad, when you threw, but it was Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, who threw it. Surah Al-Hadad, Surah 57, Ayat 3. He is the first and the last and the evident and the hidden. Al-Baqarah in the Quran, Surah 2, Ayat 255, Ayat mean verse. Allah, and, and, and exclamation mark, Allah. There is no deity except him, the ever-living, the sustainer of existence. Al-Baqarah, Surah 2, Ayat 164. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth are signs for those of understanding. Exodus, Exodus 3, 14. God said to Moses, I am who I am. <laughs> and this is what you say to the Israelites. I am all cows, by the way, has sent me to you. Wow. Then we go into the Buddha. And, and, uh, and uh, you know I'm a butcher. You know I'm a butcher name, but let me see. Let me see. So let me click over here. Let me see. I'm going to butcher the name real tough, but it's in the. Let me get them to see. Let me get them to see because I'm a butcher. I'm a butcher. Say that for me. Say it. Wait, wait, wait. That part. That part right there. Taitiriyo Barasho. These are the the Buddha concepts and sayings and uh and, and it's like it's almost like Psalms. So in Buddha and Taitiya Amasho 2.1. That which is absolute existence, sat S A T. Consciousness. Chit, C H I T, and bliss, Anna, and Nia, A N A N D A, is Brahman, God. And the Brahu Gita 10.20, I am the self, O oh God, Kisha, seated in the hearts of all creatures. I am the beginning, the middle, and the end of all beings. The heart, such Sutra. Form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. The Dhammisha verse 1. All experiences are preceded by the mind, led by the mind, made by the mind. Made by the mind. See, in all the holy books, and all the scriptures, they talk about who you are, which is pure consciousness, pure energy. Pure energy cannot cease to not exist. It cannot be destroyed or created. You are the creation. Who you seeking? Who you seeking is within you. See. 
But you have to know that. You have to know what unconditional love is. And then you begin to search and see and evolve. Unconditional love is not an emotion. Unconditional love is a multi-dimensional energy field. We are multi-dimensional, infinite consciousness incarnated in a physical body for a period of intense experience and the road, on the road of evolution. Again, we are multi-dimensional, infinite consciousness. There we go again with the shits. Infinite consciousness incarnated in a physical body for a period of intense experience on the road of evolution. Guess what? We don't die. We don't die because we cannot die. Energy is consciousness. And energy cannot be destroyed. Only transformed into another expression of itself. And when you realize that you are not your physical body, you're not your physical body, but the infinite internal consciousness giving life to that body. Your vision of yourself and your potential is suspended beyond measure. I'm going to close you out. Since we've been talking about the matrix a few times. It's called the Mr. Smith effect. You know, in the movie, the matrix. Mr. Smith has the ability to enter any body at any time. He can, he can enter any body he wants to at any time. And of course, this often occurs when the matrix is threatened by who? Neo. Now, the scenario is a reflection of our real world. For example, you're down at the coffee, at the coffee shop, having a two hour conversation with a friend or cohort, and everything is fine until you mention something like huh, vaccines, until you mention something about the jab, until you mention something about not being safe, you know, it wasn't safe or effective, right? Till you mention about evolving. Till you mention start talking about flat earth and, you know, we're in this in this dome and, you know, the encircler. But oh, when you start talking like that, watch what happens. Up pops Mr. Smith. Just damn. Out of nowhere come Mr. Smith. To replace the person you were having that conversation with. To attack you because any and all truths threaten the matrix. Oh, you didn't you didn't know? The matrix is programmed into the most into most people in their youth because of this Mr. Smith programming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Public schools, indoctrination, straight about the womb, straight about the womb, you go into the Mr. Smith programming. And these people become guardians of the matrix protectors of the code, police of the mind control, enforcers of the brain washing, which holds together a false concept of reality, like super glue, like gorilla glue. Our handlers, our handlers program most people to be like this, to attack anyone at any time. And if another person in the matrix dare speak the truth and disrupt the code of slave control, these Mr. Smith-like citizens sit there awaiting and waiting and awaiting for the people to speak against the matrix of control. The people who connect the dots are the people who recognize, realize, realize, recognize the patterns in the slave code. And then, and then, revolution combined with evolution begins. The portal, the portal to every level is through parts of yourself. Parts of yourself that you avoided. That's from the universe. A gun. Leave you with this. The portal to every next level 
is through the parts of yourself that you avoid. I'm going to leave you with this. There's no one like you. There's never been anyone like you. There should never be anyone like you. Therefore, know yourself. Be yourself. Ostentacity is everything in the first step of evolving and escaping this matrix. Our bill today was I am with the S hits today. Hit the book. Hit the bell notification. Hit the subscribe button. Hope you like what I put out. I'm just growing with you as well, family. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're growing together as one because we are one pure consciousness. If I love me, then I love you. And when you love you, in return, I love myself. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I can be a little loquacious at times, but thank you. Thank you in advance. Until next time, peace.